Okay, um, Ike Chico here, and um, I just wanted to give you guys a very quick update on uh, what the guys in, at Rubber Monkey are uh, working on at the moment. Um, and that is basically um, a version of Film Convert for Assembly. And, um, you know, these guys have been answering my questions, and they've just been with, you know, me through the whole nine yards. Because um, I think I speak for all assimilators that film convert working in Scratch is something that we all gonna love, and I'm happy to inform you guys. Uh, they just um, sent me um, a beta build, which I think is ready for assimilate, and they promised that um, at least um, by the end of the week we should see a new build for the OFX. Um, which was released, I think, about a week or two weeks ago, uh, which is going to be fully supported in Assembly Scratch. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys, so I'll let you guys know that I'm not um, bluffing. You know, go ahead and I'll create a new scaffold. And I'm going to just uh, name this Film Convert. Okay, and pattern my voice. Uh, I'm not feeling too well today, but. I'm going to go to FS controls and insert and as you can see I have the film convert pro okay I'm just going to load it and boom okay and uh, the pro version uh, which uh, is going to be available for assembly scratch um, has an option for CPU rendering and GPU rendering and this is actually um, a 6k um, red dragon um, file if I play on the CPU let's see, let's see the kind of performance we're going to have and I'm actually playing this from an external um, USB 3 hard drive, so it's not really that nice. And as you can see, I'm getting around 18 frames per second. I'm going to stop that. Uh, if I switch that to GPU, and I go ahead and I play it, it's rendering at 4 frames. Okay, so that is awesome. Alright, and everything is uh, working as usual. Uh, it's better too. Okay, so this is basically a very quick uh, video to show you guys that our film convert is going to be available on Assembly Scratch in the next couple of days. Okay, so just the way that I uh, demoed the version for Resolve, now we have a version for Assembly Scratch. And uh, so far, I've been testing this for the past um, hour, and it seems very stable. So you guys should brace yourself because it is coming. All right, thanks for watching.